Hello guys, welcome to the second video on WPF C Sharp application tutorial. In this video, I will show you how to use images with your WPF C Sharp application. So in the last video, we have seen how we can create a WPF application in C Sharp and we have created this button. Now this in this video, I want to add a image to my application or this main window. So what I will do is I will go to my toolbox and I will drag and drop image tool from my toolbox in my main window and I will just resize it so that it will fix into my main window. Now what I will do is I will select this image and then I will go to the properties here and I will search for the source property in the common category. So go here and go to this source category and one more thing I want to point out when you click this solution right click your solution first and click this open folder in Windows Explorer so it will open your project folder here and right now you can see we have bin obj folder properties folder so now uh, when I select this main in main min window this image tool and I will go here to the source and I will select any image from my computer so what I will do is I will click this button and this open this choose image wizard and now I can choose any image so I will search for image in my folder So now for example I choose this image and I click open and it loads into my project folder. So it may it automatically made a folder called component and in that component folder it made uh, another folder called image and in that folder it is going to save my new image so I click OK and you can see here the image you can see in this image tool and when you go to the folder in which your project is there you will see here a new folder called image created automatically here okay and when you click it your image will be copied in this image folder in your project folder okay so this will be your path or now you can copy and paste more images here and you can give the path for these images from here itself and you can observe here also we have in XAML file we have this button already have this button we have this grid grid is the total form of our main window and we have in the grid we have a button which is this and now when we drag and drop this image tool this new Code, I code is automatically generated here for the image so see here it's automatically generated and here is the source in your project folder it has created a folder called component images and there is your image copied so 
you can now when you run the program you will be able to see your image like this in here now for example you don't want this image here you want the image to be set on the background of your grid or your main form whatever you say so what I will do is I will copy this from here or what I can do is I can write a new tag here to set the background image so I will write this smaller than sign and then image and then I will give the source so I will write source is equal to and you can give the source as this so you need to give this format in your source so what you can do is you can copy and paste some other image here and uh, you can now just copy this source code which is generated for this image tool I am just copying here and in here I am pasting so I copied the path and I pasted it here like this and this can also become your background image so the this image I am using for setting my background and what I want is this image should stretch to the length of my form so I will give a new property called stretch and I can give the here the argument uniform to fill like this and I will close my I will close my tag so you see when you write this code the image is set automatically in the background of your grid and now I can remove this this image tool to make it clear so I am removing it like this and now you can see the image is set on the background and nothing is there so now when I run the program it looks like this and if you can s if you see when I stretch this form the my image is also stretches according to the size of my form so it will take the size whatever size my form is and it will stretch according to the size of my form so that's why I have given uniform to fill stretch here now I close my program so in this way you can set foreground image or background image in your form so once again what I can do is I can choose uh, an image tool from here and I can resize it once again if you want to sh give a smaller image here and now what I can do is I can select this image tool once again and go to the source in the properties here to the source property click to choose the image you can choose another image for example I'm going to choose some other image like this and I choose this image and I click OK and you see here the image is set here so now you have both background image and foreground image so thi this is really cool when you want to give your uh, uh, your style to your application so that's why it's good 
सो आई होप यू हैव लर्न समथिंग न्यू दिस टाइम प्लीज़ वेट कमेंट एंड सब्सक्राइब एंड बाय फॉर नाउ